Full remote learning, but who is going to be watching the kids? That is the question many parents are asking in Macomb tonight as the school district there goes fully online on Wednesday. WGEM's Frank Healy reports with what parents and administrators have to say. For Macomb School District mom Stephanie Kendrick, the transition to online learning wasn't a surprising one. I do feel sorry for the kids, but I do know that we have to do what we have to do to be safe and get rid of this virus. She says while she has daycare covered, she works with people who don't and who won't be able to bring their kids to work. So it's going to be a struggle for everyone. School administrators say this was a difficult decision to make, but they wanted to do it before the situation got dire inside the schools here and started affecting the community. We don't want to risk become part of a larger problem of overwhelming the medical facilities if it would happen to get into our system because we do have a lot of people. Macomb School District Superintendent Patrick Toomey says their infection rate in schools is low, but going into the holiday season, they don't want to risk it. He says they're planning to come back mid-January to give people time to self-isolate after the holidays. And then we'll take a good critical look at where those metrics are again in that two-week period between January 1st and January 19th and, and then make a final decision. But our, our goal right now is to be back in session on January 19th. Kendrick says she just hopes people play it safe while school's out. We just all have to take precautions and stay six feet away and do the best we can. Frank Healy, WGEM News, Macomb.